Hey guys, how are you doing? It is me again, and I am uh, very, very happy to be sharing this with you because I'm guessing like most users who have been working on something really cool have had a problem where your quick save files take so much space in your hard drive and you have to um, close your software and choose which files to get rid of and which files to save, which is mostly what I did. So I've come across a solution that really, really benefited me and I'm going to share it with you guys. Essentially what we're going to do is that we are going to take our quick save folder and we are going to cut it and paste it in a new location a new drive because once again i'm using a solid slate drive and it can only handle so much before you know it starts throwing a fit so <laughs> so now um i i've hooked up the quick save file uh, the quick save folder into one of my drives and this is the location so you can do that as well but now the thing is that whenever you start ZBrush, it will create a new quick save folder and we don't want that to happen. So this is where we're going to take this little bit of code, right? And essentially what we are telling ZBrush is that the quick save folder has moved from the original location, which is your users, public documents, ZBrush data, quick save. It has now moved to a new location. So you are going to run your command prompt as administrator and you are going to paste this bit of code. I will have it along with the video somewhere. And hmm, embarrassing me. Okay, cool. As you can see, I tried this a bit of times before I got it right. So you are going to take this code which essentially says that from this location the quick save file has been moved to this new location right so this is where now my file is and also make sure that there's a space in between your inverted commas from the old location to the new location and once you have that folder where you are now going to be uh, pointing your quick save files towards you have a slash not sure if this is a forward slash or a backslash i think uh my coding friends will you know correct me on this but make sure a slash looks like this so once that is done correctly it will say that junction created for this location and we are now pointing it to this new location okay and once that is done it will just create a shortcut folder which will point you to your new location all right, so just to wrap things up or, 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 or just to summarize what I've uh, been saying, right? This process involves you cutting your quick save folder, pasting it on a new location, which is a new drive. And then you're going to use this bit of code, right, to point ZBrush into the new location. Because if you don't do that, it will create a new folder. All right, and once that is done properly, it will say a junction has been created from this location to this location. All right, and also make sure that your new location is typed within these two inverted commas. And after your final location, you have a slash. And I hope this helps you out, guys, because yeah, this has helped me out quite a bit. Thanks and cheers.